Did, did you? your dad tell you that? No, I heard that at the send. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> really? Welcome to episode 43. We have some big announcements uh, to... Do we? Yeah. What's happening? We'll get there. Oh, by the way, I had a run-in with a guy from the Send today. Which one? Oh, the, the, main, the main guy. Taylor. No. Andy. Yeah. He was at the gym? Yeah. I was getting stretched and I apologized to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to say what happened. Okay, so... Francis got kicked out of the Send last Francis got, so, Okay, so, so Francis went to the Send. I don't know what Francis does. Like the Gen right? Z I kind of prefer yes. to yeah, not know what Francis does. Right. Right? Because Complete. he just goes out, he gets, creates content. That's what we want him to do. I'd rather rein him back than have to yeah. beat well, the horse. You can right? take all the credit exactly, and none of the you responsibility. The exactly. Yeah. yeah. So long story short, he goes to this pre... It was like another... No, it wasn't the send. It was like a pre-send. Yeah. Yeah, pre-rally. Gen Z yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Exactly. So then We're he, doing Gen Z! So then <laughs> That's he, a meme. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's, so he's out there talking to all these Gen Zs and he's like... The questions were pretty funny. <laughs> and then this. <laughs> then he gets then he gets kicked out. He asked. He asked and Fran gave answer. him an answer. Yeah. I didn't like the answer though. It was rude. Yeah. I, I felt like, dude, if you're if a guy's so asking, Gen Z. If a guy's asking you to kick out at the send, at least ask him yeah. to send you out with a blessing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? True. Like, do something funny. True. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, don't it was make, a little rude. Yeah, it was a little rude. I don't like that. So you apologized to Andy at the so gym? I, yeah, I, I saw Andy. I had never met him before. And I just said, hey, dude, just so you know, like, hey, like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like the, the lip. I'm sure Fran was just feeling awkward and just said whatever. Yeah, he did. and he you didn't know, know who he was. Yeah, exactly. He didn't know who, exactly. He didn't know who he was. So I apologized to Andy. What did he He's say? like, oh, dude, I appreciate that. Yeah. He's like, it's all good. Well, anyways, we had, and then we had a good chat. Is that funny? <laughs> Okay, thanks. You Francis. don't know this as well. They <laughs> they revoked our booth. For they revoked our booth. That's right. We were gonna have a booth, and they're like, and and the reason was because Can we make fun of them too much. <laughs> but but there's mixed messages going on because they love it. Some of their team loves that right, they're getting memed. Right. So th it's kind of confusion. Yeah. We love the scent. Yeah. We Let it we, be said. It is true. We do love the scent. We love the guys at the scent. We guys. We love the guys that run. They're it. actually great guys. Yes. Yeah. They I are. And it's, and it's like it's a, a good event. It you is. just like sometimes they just make it too easy. Yeah, you yeah. know it's low hanging fruit. You're sometimes. making it too easy. <laughs> to make it yeah. too easy, so, dude. I yeah. went to every acquire the fire that was known right? to mankind, and I you love didn't deconstruct. Stuff. No, and I didn't deconstruct exactly. It can I don't think that kids that go to the send would necessarily deconstruct. You know what I mean? It's the kids that didn't go to the send that are obviously deconstructing. Yeah, they're hungry. It's true. Yeah. Uh, all right. So what? Okay. Are, so you saw him at the gym. Yeah, I saw him at the gym. So great. Danny boy was at the gym this morning as well. Yeah. And Tom he, and he met a new friend. Did he? Yeah. Who? He's in the steam room on his foot. Stop. Worms. Stop. Yep. In the steam room? Yep. And I don't know if wait, you've heard wait, about wait. this. Ever. He got worms on his foot. What? There are poop worms in lifetime because people are waffle stomping. <laughs> there's there's people, obviously not from this country, who are crapping in the shower so canadians then, and, us yes exactly <laughs> these other canadians are waffle stomping they're 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 trying to shove their crap down the drain <laughs> holes and worms and are i saw up. 50 worms two weeks ago are you serious yep. yeah, in the shower serious. how big are wait these? wait they're so tiny so little maggot type little so what do they do they went in his feet no so he was in the thing and he looked down on his foot and his crawl a black oh poop my worm god was crawling on him. so our days are numbered there. Well, here's you, we were talking about this. They have what? They have six thousand members. Sixty five hundred. Yeah. Sixty. That's too much. Yep. It's insane. Places too much, overrun. Too much poop in the drains. That is the dirtiest life. You know what's funny is when I, I've it, ever been to in the year yeah. two thousand. I worked at a Lifetime Fitness in Michigan. In did two, you? The year two thousand. What they, did when, you do? I was. Uh, did you clean poop worms? No. It was. Uh, I worked at the towel desk, mm -hmm. and I I know how it all works at Lifetime. And they're supposed to be cleaning the showers yeah. once every hour you're supposed to go in there with bleach throw it down clean it and you check it off at a yeah. checklist that so you in austin that. that's what they do in austin they, they clean once an hour in florida it was clean too yeah i think they have three it's, people it's, they have three people on the towel desk okay like running back and forth what they used to and the there was one person who was the runner one person on the towel desk and one person who's doing stations and they rotate and the person who's the runner has to 
check off that they cleaned the showers, filled the eucalyptus back up. And if that's not getting done, those are the things that no, happen. They're overrun. Yeah. <laughs> it's nasty. Okay. That's gross. Um, so the, we have our first announcement is that this is officially the last public Theosophy Memes podcast. Oh, that's right. We are going behind the, behind the platform. The curtain. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to subscribe to Theosophy to get Theosophy Memes podcast now. So does that mean after this episode I can say <laughs> Yes, it does. Actually, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> you can say poop hole. Poop hole. Bum head. Yep. It poopy boy. Don't bleep those, Sammy. You could say those. Any of those. Behind the paywall. So what's the paywall? Fudge nuggets. Wait, so this podcast sub- is behind the paywall or yeah. will be? B- this one is. It's going. No, no, not this one. This is the last free public. Yeah. Shouldn't yep. have said those things. Basically, we're hooking them so that they can. But, well, what the reason why we're doing this is twofold. Number one, we can't say st- a lot of stuff because YouTube pulls us down. Yeah. That's kind of the main reason. Yeah. Like there's literally like things, prob- that, things that we want to talk about. That we literally can't talk about. Yeah. Number one. Uh, number two, we love our Theosu community. We love our Theosu community. They yeah. need the goods. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They deserve the goods. So I'm not. I'm not working for. I'm not working for the man. I'm not making YouTube rich. I mean, it's not like I am, anyways. But true, you know, true. So that's our announcement. So thank you um, for subscribing to. I Theosu. hope you enjoyed all 43 free episodes. Yep, this is the last one, and all of the confusion. We've been two podcasts already, in 43 episodes. Yep. Two different uh, identities. Okay, <laughs> next um, announcement is Theos Conference UK. Ooh, um, that's in June. You can register now. June twenty fourth to the twenty sixth. It's in Norwich, UK. If you're wondering how to get there, fly into London, take a train to Norwich. It's an hour and a half train ride from London. That's what we're doing. Liverpool station. Uh, find you want to get there cheap? Cool. Find a hub like JFK, LAX, Atlanta, maybe. Um, Dallas, yeah, Charlotte, and then look at returns from those hubs. Did you go to that? orbits, look at returns, and then just get yourself to that hub. That's the cheapest way to do it. You can find cheap flights return with a ton of uh, European airlines at a JFK. Just a thought, and just a little tease of what's going down. Yeah, so we we did a um thing about the wrong answers for the topics that we're going to be having. Yes, it's what were fun. some of the wrong wrong answers? Um, did you book your ticket to New York yet? No. You should probably do that. In March? You're talking about in March? when no, we it's the end of February. End of February. Um, day one. <coughs> what, day wait, one? What, what date in the end of February? Uh, I don't know. Day one is Bilbo's 111th birthday. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. going to be really yeah. fun. I yep. like that. It's the um, money. Yep, we're and, and it's like a, it's sort of like we're coming together, and it's a little lighthearted. No, no, that's not, that's not day one. Yeah, we had to move it around to be really? chronological. <clears throat> okay. Day two, yeah, is Helms Deep. Yes, it is. And it's the we're going like academic balls to the wall, hardcore, hardcore. Yeah. And then the day three is the free peoples of Middle Earth. Nice. And uh, and yeah, what and that topic sort of uh, that's a youth day. Youth um, day. Gen Z day. Yeah, Gen Z. Gen Z day. We love Gen Z. Elijah Lamb. There's gonna be Gen Z. What's the uh, what are the topics? Um. Okay. Yeah. The topics. We can't say these on YouTube. Yeah. But exactly. Just <laughs> some just believe us that there's some the, great sessions. Just yeah. go, go, on, the yeah, go on the website. They're w- right there. www.theosleader.com. Oh, and we should say this is not just for pastors. This is don't be confused. Christian thinkers. People, people want to go deeper in theology. Yeah, this is for pastors theology. and women. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Gabe. Oh, <laughs> and then the last thing we must talk about is the after party castle, which is booked. Is that actual footage of the castle? Yes. My God. Yeah, it's going to be wild. My um, God. So it's going to be really fun. So you can get uh, after party access by getting a global apostolic uh, ticket. Will there be Guinness? There must be. I mean, there's going to be, be L's at the Cascales. Green Dragon. Will yeah. there be Shepherd's Pie? Oh, Hopefully great not. Great idea. No. What? I don't like it. There's a really good fish and chips place. That's good. That North? We, yeah, yeah. That we, we did. went to. Yeah. yeah. Remember it the fish little... and chips place that we went to in the Lake District? Yes. It's just as good as that. Were we there together? No, that was no, I didn't. I went to Windermere. We went to Windermere. Yeah, you and I did. Didn't get fish and chips. 
Norwich is really no. oh, it was closed. It was closed. That's a sin. That's right. Yeah, it was big, big bummer. You know, the, thing I like, the, the fact that I like so what I like that is in Norwich is the fact that it gets you to see UK outside of London. Because some people's experience. Oh, is Norwich is beautiful. The UK. I've never been. It's just been Norwich. Norwich is just it's just stunning. Stunning. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the yeah, uh, the ocean at some point. Are you? I'd like to. It's gonna be freezing cold. Well, I'm not going to go in it, but I'm going to go see it. You almost said not during summer. And I'm like, no, yes, during summer. It's like the Oregon coast. It's awful right. at it's all times. Close. Yeah. Right. yeah. I you'll, would you'll just get down to the Mediterranean. I would I would rather go back to the UK than back to the Mediterranean. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Where I would just, you go, by the way, in, in the UK? I'd, I, I, think, I think I would go... I would go to the Cotswolds. Yeah. Haven't been there. And I think Cute. I'd go north. I think I'd spend a lot of time Edinburgh? like Yeah. Scotland, Highlands, <gasps> great. Lake District. Yes, Lake District. Lake District is so special. I probably wouldn't go back to the Lake District because I haven't done a lot of the coast. I haven't done Ireland. Yeah. Ireland's <clears throat> I don't have a lot of desire to go to Ireland. I'd rather spend time in Scotland. I'll be honest with you. When you to go me. to Scotland or in the north like the Lake District, and then you go to Ireland, you're kinda like, eh. Like Ireland's mm. not as good. I just want to see like Lagavulin. Well, sure. S- that's all Scotland, though. Is that Scotland? Oh, yeah, Scotch Lagavulin. is yes. all oh, Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Jameson yeah. and the Guinness Factory. Yeah. And it's I think Ireland. yeah, and that's in Dublin, in gotcha. in the Republic of Ireland. Yeah, I'd go. I'd go. I'd go north with you. Right. Yeah. 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 The north of England is just sick. I mean, York is so. Oh, we, York we went to York, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, we went to York as well. I'd yes. actually like. I'd rather. I'd rather take a trip. I'm learning this about myself. I would rather take a trip somewhere where I have to wear a light jacket than where I'm in sweltering heat. Fair. Mm, I'm not with you there. Well, it depends on if if you're in sweltering heat, you got to be at a beach. Yeah. yeah. Right. If you guys can hear that background noise, that's Austin and Gabe doing a podcast. <laughs> They're literally shouting at the top of their lungs. Sexy like, theology. Incredible. I'm just like listening. I'm like, oh, that's actually, that actually sounds pretty good. Um, so anyways, that's our announcement for conference. So uh, w- that's your invite. Good. And if you're a Theosem student, you get three credits for attending. Oh, my gosh. That's the biggest thing. Thank you. Okay. So let me explain how ridiculous this is. Okay. Three credits is a it's actually a lot of it's about it's to, it on average for like a for a, for a bible college because i think b- most bible colleges like 200 bucks a credit 200 bucks a credit it, most bible colleges are 1200 dollars a credit really yes yeah yeah and we, i remember when we were kind of oh, doing some well, research there was like probably more christian now. ones were like five, went, averaging at 500 a credit or no, something no 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 like when i went and did uh, my master's degree was twelve hundred dollars a credit. Oh yes, masters, absolutely. So we're literally so offering. If you're talking about bachelors, you're probably nowadays up to five hundred. Yeah. Okay. So long story short, just in the credits alone, that's the price of your flight and your hotel. You know what I mean? So and like, it's an experience. It's correct. An experience. Yeah. Yeah. Out and, of the classroom. Yeah, totally. And then the ticket. The ticket's only one hundred and fifty bucks, I think, to go to to thing. Conference. Yeah. So long story short, and you the, are which also. We're gonna give us a, a wicked discount to Theos Seminary students that want VIP tickets. And the and the idea yeah, behind I'm just gonna call and, that. And the idea behind the fact is that Theos Seminary is an online school, but we give students opportunities. We create moments for students to meet. And oh, yeah. Have classmates, and so what better place than Norwich, <laughs> England, for a conference? Very true. To yeah. meet your students. This is like our been first coming with online house gathering. Yeah, yeah, it's really it's yeah, it it, it's more In than person. Just, they have to see it as more than a conference. Yeah, that's what it is. This is your school. This is your people's. Which, this would be a good time to uh, talk about Theos Seminary. And did you guys see the rejection or why people have left Theos U from Joel today? No. (laughs) I saw the one. (laughs) Okay, let's read these. Okay. (laughs) Hold on, where are they? (laughs) Okay, so Joel is doing like exit surveys for Theos U. Brilliant. Hi, I noticed you dropped your Theosu subscription. In an effort to make it better for others, could you let me quickly know, or quickly let me know what made you leave? And he answers, your dean informed me that people who don't affirm the doctrine Trinity are not welcome in the seminary, so I'm going to look for learning opportunities elsewhere. <laughs> it's pretty, I mean, it's fair. It's fair. Yeah, if you're not it's a Trin- true. Yeah, if you're not a Christian. Trinitarian schools <laughs> don't come to our school. <laughs> Trinitarian schools aren't going to let you in, not believe in the doctrine of Trinity. It's just, this isn't yeah. us. This isn't only an exclusive Theos seminary That's rule true. here. That's true. Uh, this is a good one. Hi, 
I'm Joel. I noticed you dropped your Theosio subscription this past month in an effort to make Theosio better for others. Could you quickly let me know what made you leave? It was your teaching on the rapture. <laughs> really? Are you serious? <laughs> Dude, can we send her this shirt? <laughs> yes. That's actually what it yeah. says. Let's send yes. that shirt. My God. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Looks well, like I'm, I'm, costing, off the I'm, I'm costing the organization members here. So You taught the rapture yeah. one, right? <laughs> I heard, I've recently learned that women won't men will arrive in in heaven a half hour before women and children because there's silence in heaven in space half hour. I've heard the joke of why hours. it's it's revelation 8 1 because there's what silence in heaven a half hour yeah it says oh. when the lamb opened the seventh seal there was a silence in heaven for about half an hour that's good <laughs> yeah God. yeah did, did you, your dad tell you that no i heard that at the send did you know that <laughs> <laughs> really no. did you know that did you know that baptists are going to be in heaven first why? Because the dead in Christ shall rise first. That's good. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Did you guys see John Christ's video today that went out? No. No. It's um, it's him in Brentwood, and he's saying, "Man, we just really believe that we need to plant a church here in 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 our city, and we just want to be in the ground here." And in the background, there's three churches. <laughs> like, literally us. <laughs> this, yeah, it's literally holy science. Yeah. And the 10 other church plants. There's like 10 church plants in Franklin right now. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And they're all there's, good churches yeah. too. Yeah. Like they're all, all of them are like great. I, I go to, I'd go to any of these churches. Yeah. 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 They're good churches. It's hilarious. Great we're, leaders. We're, and we're fighting for all that Sunday morning. We're fighting for them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're all we, just fighting each we other. We lost our Sunday morning venue that we were going to have. Shoot. They gave it to another church. <laughs> Did they really? Yes. Yeah, another church plant. I love that. God. Did it, yeah. They outbid or something? Like, what's the criterion? They wanted to do a long-term oh. agreement. Smart. Two oh. years. Good for them. And and the guy was like, you guys, you know, would probably only be here for six months, which is probably true. So so we're working on that. Speaking of which, um, they asked Seminary, an event that we're working to do in Franklin in October is a live student union hall. Where we have our students come in and we set it up like the Oxford Student Union mm -hmm. and we have papers and it's black tie event. Ooh, I can't wait. What's this? In October, fall. Where is it? Here. We're looking for a venue to make it look very regal and Oxfordish. That's sick. Yeah, it's going to be sweet. And the, so the students can come to Franklin. It'll be on a Thursday night. It'll be in the evening. Gentlemen and ladies, welcome. Black tie event and they're going to present papers. Um, in the spirit of academia, and it's going to teach them how to be in an academic setting and present papers where you disagree in a way that fosters the learning process. Cool. Uh, is it going to be cool. for seminary and faculty only? I need to get those dates. Be, what is it, October 1? Oh, we're working on a venue. It'll be in late October. Late October? Okay, yeah, great. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Good, we're, we're, it's come just, to South Africa with me in October. Well, I'll be there, but... Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll work around all that, but it's going to be um, it's gonna be dope. If you don't come to South Africa with me in October... <laughs> What are we going to do on the 19-hour flight oh, across the ocean? Oh, God. And, um, yeah, if you don't come, I'm going to have to bring Elijah. <laughs> Splatter well, pig? Splatter pig. We'll do the, um, you can bring shoots and ladders on the plane and play it. Something like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a 19-hour flight that's, from Atlanta. That's like one of the longest flights ever. I did ever, it. I did it? that flight, and I watched five movies and just couldn't do movies anymore. I'm thinking maybe we should break it up. Like, maybe we should go somewhere and then... Like the car, Senegal? West Africa? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Uganda, no, like this, Istanbul or something. Istanbul, yeah, yeah. Istanbul, is a city on hair? two continents. Huh? What? Do you guys need hair? I, I need teeth. I, I could use a little hair. Go yeah. to Turkey. Yeah, yeah just yeah, go so to should, Istanbul. Get hair and new teeth. No, we should do that on the way back. My hair is thinning, man. Same. I can see Same. it now. It's parting of getting old. My hair's not. My hair's thinning. You're but never gonna lose a damn hair on your head. Yeah, I don't think my hair is ever gonna thin. Yeah. So would you would you you know how people give away kidneys? Would you give away some of your hair? Yeah, you can take my follicles. We'll just we'll, we'll both go in, fly me to Istanbul, and you can take my follicles. Do, do people actually do that? I mean, Don donate. No, follicles? you'd have to I guess gra gra you, your own. Don't you could technically do it right because they just they take your own like they take yeah, your follicles here. from someone. So That's I right. guess yeah. they yeah, could they probably take, yeah. take it from somewhere. You have in eight mine. thousand donor hairs on the back. Here and they and then that's it. You could just have a spattering of beautiful brown hair just right there. Speaking of speaking of hair, <laughs> speaking, really? of, <laughs> speaking of hair transplants, LeBron he gets his hair transplant done. 
Have you seen that? No. And like it's like perfectly looks like a putting green. Like there's all these memes about like right on the top of his hair. <laughs> but Barstool did a really funny T-shirt of LeBron James, and it shows him dressed up like Emperor Mao. Have you seen this? No. It just shows him in an Emperor Mao outfit, and it's just LeBron James with his picture, and he's smiling, and he's dressed up like a Chinese communist soldier, and that's the shirt. Right. And so Fran's buying it. He's gonna wear it in downtown Franklin to interviews. Right. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Under a sports coat. <laughs> um, Everett, have you um? <laughs> I've missed uh, something I've missed in my life is when you show us cringy content. Do you got any? I probably, I probably have some. I'll have to. We should do a Theos U trip to Istanbul, and it's just like fifty guys Gnarly. who, who want to get like hair transplants. <laughs> Be the funniest thing ever. Oh. <laughs> we I'm all dumb. come back just like in pain. <laughs> like, have you ever seen a dude who's gotten transplants before? Yeah, I, I had a buddy of mine. I have a friend. Yeah, I had a I had a buddy. We all have. I mean, I have friends that are like in their late twenties, early thirties, getting them. I'm like, gosh, I'm glad I didn't have to get it that that early. How long do they last? Like, does it the whole life? See, whole they life. said that about yeah. LASIK, and that didn't pan out for me, did it? Remember this, guys? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Is that Everett? No, this is just on Instagram. Oh, okay, so that mountain. That's mountain. I had yeah. a friend do it, and his whole his eyes were black. His whole head was swollen. He looked like an alien. Really? Because of yes. the, not the, the hair transplant? Gone to the right place. No, dude. He went to the right. His, his transplants are amazing. It was just like the healing process was a little whack. But it's not just that. Like, it's literally they're needling you. And so your head literally swells up like a balloon. Ooh, for horrible. some people. That's crazy, man. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. Yeah, he looked so bad. And he like, he got it done and then he jumped on a flight. And like came back from where he got it done. I have a question about hair. I actually thought of this week. Yeah. I was on a plane. The guy in front of me had the cul-de-sac. You know what I mean? Where he's bald on top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hair on the sides. If you had the choice Taun- of a cul- uh, What's the... It's called a tonsil? Tonsor? Tonsor. What's that? It's like the monk cut, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, tonsor. Yeah. We used to call it cul-de-sac. Yeah, sure. So <laughs> if, if it's between a cul-de-sac or bald, what do you do? I don't know. Oh, I don't know, dude. Uh, I'm going bald. Yeah, I'd say I feel like there's a lot of guys out there that just need to let it go. Yeah. You're holding on. <laughs> oh, like, because it's like it's like the comb over a lot no, of times. No, no, no. This guy was straight bald on top and just hair on the side. Yeah, I just oh, let it get, go, no, dude. Like get, this? Get, think, yeah. Just no, no. Just t- put it. Tonsor. In, is that no, what it's called? No, no, yeah, no, no, no. Put an old tonsor. man cul de sac, like hair or whatever. Side I'd hair. Say get rid of it. Just hair on the side. Nothing on top. I mean, wax bald. I like would shiny if, ball. if I had if I was if I had the cul de sac I would just get the harem harem transplants, but I think at that point you can't. Yeah, you can. No, because there's too much missing. No, nah, dude. You, you, they're like really, dude. People go to but if the you, option people, was just that's why people go to Istanbul. You go to Istanbul and they you freaking come back with like the putting green in America. You can only do, I think, uh, two thousand grafts per session. Oh. You have 8,000 hairs. They'll just mess you up in Turkey. In Turkey, they'll do 7,000 <laughs> in one day. <laughs> in one day. The only, thing is if you, if you, <laughs> the only thing is if you get an infection, you're done. Like in Turkey, if you get if something goes wrong, and I'm a little paranoid because I had a LASIK go wrong. And I can't see it on my left eye. So I'm not like, I'm a little bit timid. But if like you're over there and something goes wrong. Yeah, what do you do? What do you do? Yeah, but, but that's why you go to like the, go to a top clinic. And the top clinic is still only two grand. It's two grand. Yes, for two. the top for the top. And it's like ten clinic. here in America. Uh, no, it's like twenty twenty thousand. Oh, a friend recently got for ten, I think. Yeah, but like he only got, got seventeen hundred grafts. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm. Yeah, wow. so you go over there and they'll do like what you actually need. Like people who are actually bald need to go there because they'll have to go multiple times here. Yeah, and it only ended up costing them sixty thousand dollars, right? Whereas like if you go to Istanbul, you go there once. And you never have to get it done again. Chris. Can you imagine if you got your teeth done and you got your hair done? You be a new man. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, have I have a friend who went to Dominican and got a surgery. I think it was it was one of the cosmetic surgeries and died. I I was thinking really? about God. doing um teeth and and uh and stuff in near Yuma across oh. the border. Yeah, when yeah. we were living in the desert, I was gonna yeah. start going yeah, to Mexico. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. I feel like those Turkish veneers look like pretty bad. I've never seen them. 
just watch Love Island. They look good. <laughs> That's why they look bad. Love They're Island. too good. They're right? too good. They're too good. Like you can like somebody that went to Turkey to get veneers, like you can spot them immediately. Yeah, because their teeth are perfectly white and they're huge. And like perfectly shaped. There's like and there's like no space in between them yeah. either. Yeah. Like I don't think they can floss. I have either. two friends that got veneers and they're both guys like in their <laughs> early forties. And they got veneers of their real teeth. So like Oh, that's they, smart. Yeah. So where they had like a little bit of like you know weird staining or whatever not stain no 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 so so their veneer it, it was perfectly white like just per but where they where their teeth was like a little bit like crowded or whatever it was mm-hmm. you know what i mean like like maybe they had like a canine that was kind of up or whatever they, that's they that's what they got so it doesn't look perfect but it looks natural it didn't and look good perfect yeah mm. but they just looked they're so white it's crazy that's nuts um yeah <coughs> it's crazy yo this <clears throat> I'll, I want to tell everybody something. Um, I will say it because church will be over by this by the time this episode comes out. I okay. hope. But dude, do you know who's leading worship for us on Sunday? I you guys put on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah, Nate did. Yeah, Martin <laughs> Smith. That's sick. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, that's so dope. I'm not gonna be there, sadly. Would you be neither for, is Chris? That's... Neither is Gabe. Would you be for or against? Sandy Patty leading worship at Holy Spirit. Four. 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 Sandy 100%. Patty? Yeah. She can do no wrong. Doesn't she live in Franklin? No. Does she? I don't know. Probably. It's Sandy Patty. It's Franklin. It's Sandy Patty. Yeah. Um, who did you hang out with this week, Chris, here in Franklin? Francis? No, Gary. Oh, Dr. Brashears. Dr. Brashears. Dr. Brashears. Yeah. How did that go? I'm expecting a visitor. Oh, it's a no. Tell us about Jerry Brashears. Dr. Bashir's um, is a forty-three-year-old, forty-five-year-old, forty-five-year-old vet. Well, he's seventy-seven, I think, and he's but he's been teaching for forty-five years in academic. Started off a year and a half at Biola, and I just Biola is a phenomenal institution. When you have the new atheists came to debate Christians, they had the debate at Biola because William Lane Craig teaches there. Well, it just shows you the kind of caliber of Dr. Bashir's is because he was on the staff there. Clinton Arnold is the current president, or he was last I checked. He's got a huge publishing record, editor of numerous commentary series. And that's where Dr. Fisher started. And then he tells the story, but he ended up at Western Seminary, which is in Oregon, mm. premier evangelical seminary there, um, which is funny because I know one of my friends is uh, was his TA. Just a great caliber guy and he has a specialty in Paul. So he did a course for us for TheosU. So all TheosU subscribers and premium subscribers will uh, have access to his course on grace. Which is helpful because some of the questions that we've had asked by students is how do we deal with grace? Yeah. At what point Long does grace, grace yeah, what, at what point does grace start to become as they quote sloppy? Can grace um, how does it work with the law? Is he reformed? He is reformed. Um, but he's probably an unreliable reform because he has some convictions more or less that may He has Anabaptist leanings. Yeah. What was his proximity to like everything else that was happening in Portland through all those years? You talking about with uh, like like even just Antifa like movements like uh, or no 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 like MFI and stuff like that was did they mix no no okay he but I will say this about Dr. Shears he's very very intentional and concerned about ecumenic ecumenism in the in the body of Christ he is a member of ETS Evangelical Theological Society and he's trying to draw lines with that and SPS Society of Pentecostal Studies he's trying to be very intentional about it. Uh, and, and be a bridge that goes between that. So he's really good. So if you're Pentecostal, or evangelical, or anything in between. Tune in. Tune in. I love his teachings. And um, there is a rumor that he may be coming back to do another one on something we'll announce when he does. Mm. Cool beans. You will like it. Gabe, And then Gabe and you and him did a town hall. Grace and Law. And he was pushing Gabe on some stuff. Sounds good. I think Sounds that, juicy. I think that was a really good town hall. It was good. It was a very good conversation. Robust. He's just a he's a sharpshooter, man. You like guys who are efficient, just shoot right for the right for the kill shot. It's probably a bad illustration. What is the what is the Baptist. Super Bowl? Is it this Sunday or next Sunday? Next. next. Are we next, home? Yeah. Is everybody home? I'm home. What are you guys doing? I think I'm home. We we've been and we've been in Whalen. Yeah, we've been in Whalen. Owing to the fact that the Lions in the game. Lions, that sucks, man. Yeah, they like they really shit the bed. They did, but you know something? Dan they Campbell Dan Campbell just got coach of the year from the NFL today. It was announced. 
and their GM got Jim of the Year. And so you got to like Dan Campbell. That was maybe amazing. some of the worst clock management I've ever seen in my well, life. Well, he shouldn't yeah. have gone for it. He shouldn't have keep going for it on fourth. I said it would eventually catch up to them, and it did. He shouldn't have gone for it in third quarter on fourth when they're up 17. Did you guys see this video? <laughs> Right. Why didn't he hit Mahomes? Exactly. Yeah, well, I think Dr. Fran was alluding to that on the street the other day when he was asking people, is it rigged? Is it rigged? Is Taylor Swift going to get proposed to by Travis Kelsey on Sunday? That's the rumor Dude, going around. She's like, I read something. She's brought like $330 million into the NFL. I don't know how that's even traceable, but sure. My daughter watched an hour of football with me because she wanted to see Taylor Swift. Well, the oh, jersey, no. Travis Kelsey's jersey is selling like crazy apparel selling. Kansas City Chiefs stuff yeah. is all going off the, the type off of the person who would wear a Travis Kelsey jersey though. You know, it's like like who who like we, if I saw somebody with a Travis Kelsey shirt, I would absolutely tear them to shreds. Today? Yeah. I would tear them to shreds. Yeah. yeah. He was but back in the day I'd ask them he when was they on, bought it. 4 years ago he's on my fantasy team. And he was cool. Like he was a, he was one of the main there's not a lot of good tight ends you draft, you yeah. know, this ever cuz Mr. And Mrs. Pfizer. You know, there's not a lot of good tight ends in the league that you want to put up fantasy numbers, but he's one of them. Yeah. And getting him th- for third round of the draft. So was, you have a Travis Kelsey I think the jersey. bottom line is... I was a fan of his until this. I think the yeah. Chiefs are a good team. Uh, you can't say that they're not because they actually are. Yeah, and Mahomes just, is good. Mahomes is... I mean, dude. Yeah, him and Josh I love Allen, to hate him. They totally, they threw up the same numbers. You know, like... Yeah. Mahomes is a... But Kansas is a playoff team. They've been there so many times. Like, people yeah. in the playoffs, like Lamar Jackson, he folded. Yeah. Because he doesn't, he, people, some people get nervous in the playoffs. Some people, they come, they shine in the playoffs because the, the pressure does different things to different people. And yeah. the element that Kansas City is made out of, they shine in the playoffs. That's why they're there. They're so who are you, their champs. Who's your, who are you rooting for then? Not Kansas City. Same. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I exactly. want them to lose. So yeah. bad. anybody but Kansas City. I want to see San Francisco do it because I want at least the team that beat us to at least be a Super Bowl winner. Yeah. I feel like you got to feel a little bit for Pat Mahomes because he's unlikable himself Mm -hmm. but then you bring his wife and his brother into the mix Mm -hmm. and it's just like detestable disgusting (laughs) he has been in it's very difficult to get an afc championship and this is his fifth it's crazy that's insane yeah he's great and he's only in he is great he's in the beginning of his career oh and usher's doing the halftime show I love usher oh i love usher that'll be a good show yeah it's actually gonna be all i want to see is climax one of the best R and B songs ever. So true. Ever. Yeah, that is I, yeah so it's, I think true. it's better than everything else he did. Now, did you hate I think that's his yeah. best song, yeah. yeah. I think Nate, you're actually going to you teach at AC on the twelfth. Oh my gosh. They're not canceling school for that? I'm kidding. We, no, could I'm always, we could always make the request. You know that oh. the Super Bowl's in Vegas, eh? Is it really? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh God. No, oh I'm God. A, I'm uh no, I'll just catch a late flight. Because the Super Bowl is at what five o'clock? Are you gonna watch Waste Management? You'd have to catch. I think yeah, I might watch you might want to catch it early one on Monday. No, no, five, I'll just I'll there. just catch a nine p.m. or yeah, direct. Yeah, so I can at it. least catch most of it. Yeah. Have you guys seen all stuff about Rory reneging on everything he said about Liv? No. Yeah. What a he's being, Yeah, he's he's another very unlikable dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's just been like he's 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 since what did he the beginning. Say about Liv? Since the beginning, he's been like bad talking every player Who that goes? like goes to live. And he's like, you guys are just doing it for the money. You're not doing it for the sport. And it's like, okay, easy for Rory to say, like making hundreds of millions of dollars. Right. Um, and, and not winning. And not winning. Yeah. Not winning majors like yeah. he's supposed to. Yeah. Not even in the hunt for majors like he's supposed to. And recently he's just been like, ah, I get it. It's okay, guys. I see why you would do it. I'm like, is he going to live now? Well, he's probably like he's one of the. I think he's one of like the commissioners or something of the PGA. So I'm like, they're probably working on a deal. To, what happened to live in PGA murder? They did. Well, you, I don't know. I think they did. Yes. Or, but now he's like, now he's saying that like live players should be allowed on tour events and everything, and it's just like, 
dude, you are spineless. Like yeah. it makes him look so much worse. Cause I think like, you just know that there's like a deal going down that he's trying to make, make happen yep. to get a lot of money. And he's changing his tune. Yeah. He is More a dude. successful dude. So also Tyler or tiger, tiger cut his Nike deal. Don't know saw, if you guys saw that. Saw that. That's a wild. Well, and you know, Taylor made just, uh, Taylor made just filed patents on Sunday red. Sunday red, and What's the Sunday branding red? looks sick. It's it's, it, it's Tiger it's, wears Sunday uh, red on Sundays. Does he really? That's yeah. like his thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's genius. Yeah. So they're doing a whole line. Sunday red, which is way cooler. Oh my gosh! I have the best news to tell you. What's that? Dennis Lupin is moving to Nashville. Are you serious? Is he yeah, really? I love Dennis Lupin, dude. When's he moving? In the next year. You're kidding. Yeah. That's sick. I know. That dude. is sick. I'm so happy. Yeah. He's one of my favorite people. Yeah, they all yeah. all roads lead to Nashville. Oh, that's so that's freaking that is true. So it seems someone we were, else told me yesterday they, they would move to Nashville. I, I can't I, say I, their name. I know. I just heard about yeah, same. I just heard about a, say it. We'll bleep a it. couple that are um coming to Nashville as well. But um, I was just reminiscing. <clears throat> I'll say this. When you move to Nashville, it's like there's so many people and there's good food and stuff. It's great. But nothing will ever be living in the desert. No. <laughs> I'm with you. I, I, regret, I think you disagree. I regret it. No, he, I, I, don't, I don't think he'd disagree. Are not you, right now. Are you, are you coming around? No, like I, I do not regret this move. And I would rather live here than the desert. But I, I have been reminiscing yeah. on times in the desert, and it was pretty sweet. I agree. I re I regret it massively. No. Yeah. I wish I was in the desert right now. So are you going to move back? Nope. No, I'm not going to move back. You're just going to live with that regret? Yes. Wow. I Life don't regret it. I don't regret it, but I I think the desert is better. But there's, this is more. This is a utility living here. Yeah, regret can, is can, regret can, is a strong. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, I I can't. I do not regret moving here. I didn't. I'm glad I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave the desert. Neither did I. I didn't have friends. Yeah. In, I, oh, I, didn't I have went. Friends in the but desert. my wife Picking was screaming. My wife was was she was dying there. Can we just make an agreement? Yeah. That we prioritize a collaborative funding of getting a house in the desert at some point in the next decade. Oh, I could I'll buy one now. Like I want I want a reason and a way to go there. Yeah. The problem is if I I have to figure out taxes. If I buy a house in in California, yeah. What does that do? As long as it's not your primary residence. It's not it would not be my primary yeah. residence. And if you I think you'd be okay. 6 months there. Yeah. Well, there you go. You get I, killed on property taxes. I don't know there I don't know if there's a way around that. I will say today is the day that I realized I haven't sat in the sun for a month and it's killing me. Yeah. I am I am dying. Well, we went down to Miami this past weekend and it was really good. I I, des I, I desperately needed it. I laid out every day and I don't think I'm any d darker, but I didn't put any sunscreen on either. And I was I was in the sun every day for like an hour, hour and a half. I mean, the sun's not really powerful right now. No. But it was just nice, you know. I need it yeah, bad. it's nice, but it's like it's it's way too easy not to do anything in the desert. So true, right? Yeah, because the heat is a little bit defeating. Yeah, you, you can be a bump on a log there. Yeah, and it's either you That's like it feels point. like the two options are like you either stay inside and don't do anything, or you just go in the pool and you start day drinking, which also isn't doing anything. <laughs> or you go golfing, which isn't doing anything. And Ever, did you use the pool and at Karen's drinking. house, though? You pro did you even go in that once? No, I never. I mean, I only lived there for like true. two months. And I got stuck in Canada. That is true. Oh. And then by the time I came back, that place was no longer viable. But I did get that pool up to 110 degrees. I never forget. Never that. went in, but I. <laughs> I remember. I remember. I was laying in bed. And I can see the pool from my room, and your brother Jacob was there, and he walked outside to go swimming. He put his foot in it, and like he pulled it out real quick. I'm like, "What's going on with the pool?" Come to find out, Everett got it up Dude, to like 100. It was steaming. It was steaming in the desert. It was. It was definitely mostly my fault, but also I talked to the pool guys. Yeah. And I was like, "I'm going out of town." you got to turn the heater off yeah. and they didn't turn the heater off. So it just kept heating the pool until was, the whole thing was a hot tub. Dude, I miss. We, we did that at Alcida when people would come over for yes. Christmas. 
Yeah. Do you remember? I think you were there. Alcida yeah. was a, a, a whip. Alcida and then do you remember um, Eastwood? That house was sick. Yeah, it was. Eastwood? Yeah. HQ. Which, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clubhouse was dope. No, that house was not sick. I that loved house, it. That house, was not, oh, that house was not sick. There were things about it that were sick, but... The pool was dope. The pool was dope. Once we got that clean and going... The yard was sick. And what I love. I mean, you you and I lived there and Chris, like the house was not in like good shape. <laughs> really? No. You, no, Brian, the house was in really Canada that summer, but it was that Brian, was your house was the best house, I think. I think the well, Alcida house was the best house. But bad location. Bad Cathedral location. City, had, man. Yeah, yeah. We no, all had no. pools though. I think Karen's house was chill. I, I, not, I, I liked Karen's, Karen's house, house, but I, that was not my vibe. I loved same. our house. Yeah. I loved Karen's house. But I loved Brian's house on Sundays. I, yes. Yes. Uh, yep. well, you know what I miss about uh, Bud Light Desert? Lime, Bud Light Lime, and In and Out, baby. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know what I miss about um, Palm Desert is how they make every backyard so private. Yeah. Yeah. That drives me nuts about Nashville. Yeah. True. You just people are in your yard. You're, you just there's no privacy. No. It's privacy. like very suburbia here. Yeah. 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 We so, don't yeah. have a fence either. No. And 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 if you put up a fence, you you, you sort of get this reputation. It's like. Talk. Brian had the couch outside on his patio with the TV. Oh, so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the hot tub. Nice should we move back, guys? And then Georgie. We yes, we should. And then, oh, it's the best. The girls going into the pool every day. Georgie almost died twice. Yep. I don't miss the dust. Oh, oh yeah. The, the, sand. And the sand. We got it. That that was the thing about that house that we lived in is it was right by the interstate on the other side of the interstate. Yeah. It's literally like Ten. It's, <laughs> death, it's freaking Death Valley over there. Who, who was on a flight with me? That we get, we had to get you got rerouted. Rerouted. That happened, happened those once. When was we went that to LA. You? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we were home. Yeah. We went to yeah. LA and there we was sandstorm. We drove yeah. home. Yes. That, but that had happened like three times in a row. Yeah. Kept so happening. I got rerouted three times, twice to Ontario and once to LA. And it kind of ruined me for landing. Yeah. Now I like, scary. I check the, the, the wind everywhere I go. Yeah. I just got, yeah. Oh my God. It I don't care. Again. You know what? Awesome I don't care how many week. times I've flown in my life. I always get nervous on the landing. Same. Because when it's just, do you think about how precision that has to be? It's the, the wind, the <coughs> wind and all that. But I always Salt Lake, things. Salt Lake City was also pretty bad. Oh, and so you true. always flying out of Palm Springs, you always, always have, have to connect, connect through Salt Lake, yep. and it gets bad over there. I was on Alaskan Airlines last this couple of days ago, and I was concerned because the door blew off on one of them. Just don't know who's They're giving people a thousand bucks. <laughs> Did they really? <laughs> they gave everybody a thousand dollars to say sorry. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and someone died. <laughs> No, did somebody die? Yeah, one person got sucked out and died. No, did no, no, they, really? no, 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 nobody died. No, that's on Southwest. Uh, yeah, 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 nobody died. The, they got the sucked Southwest. out the window. Southwest flight. We know. Oh, the Southwest one. We know a girl that was on that flight. Yeah, people that go to our church were on the flight. Oh, my God. Yeah. Jeez, man. Is that funny? Oh God. You know funny. what's crazy? You know who all was on that flight? That whole flight. The Epstein list. No, that whole flight was all Washington Husky fans going to Houston for the college national championship. Is that the right? whole flight. Yeah. It was Seattle to Houston, that flight. The Alaska? Yeah. So what are you inferring? That's why Washington lost. It's because they didn't have their fans they had in their head. Their sure. fans almost died. That's true. Whoa. true. That explains their lack of performance. Well, I got a bone to pick. A beyond de pionk? My beyond de pionk. We'll land this plane and... Pick some bones. Yeah. So basically, my beyond de pick, it's it's a tired one, but it just it it is I've shocking. Got a new one. Uh, it is shocking how many women look at their phone and text with their head in their lap in Franklin. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Th that's why I won't ride a, ride a motorcycle because they're not looking like, while driving. Yeah. If you start yeah. seeing it, dude, it's crazy. I, I saw a mom watching. with a van. She was driving a van. I saw like one a mom yesterday. Yeah, me too. Literally like this. <coughs> it's like if I texting, I go like this, yeah. bop, 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 and I'm like, I'm not texting and driving. I'll call somebody. Whatever. I don't text. And yeah, that's, that's stupid. This it's like this. Two yeah, hands dude. and hand moving and, and moving. Dude, moving. you got to start honking. It freaks them it. out. I do. I it people freaks them out, here, don't they? Yeah. Do. You know who um was texting and walking yesterday and ran into my truck, who? and then got me to roll my down down my window and said hi to me. It's Toby Mac. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You honked at him? No, he almost ran into my truck because he was walking and texting at the gym, into That's the gym. Funny. And then, and he's like, hey. And then I rolled down my window and I'm like, hey, man, I'm a huge fan. He's like, I know you. And I'm like, 
I don't think you do. <laughs> talk, talk me back. <laughs> he's just he's you. just saying that so you don't get pissed. He's yeah, like just totally. making you feel good. Yeah, I'm you like know? you don't know who I am. Okay, here's my bone to pick. Okay. Ah. What? I'm deciding if I should self censor. Okay, someone else go first. Dude, I think it's the worst. I got to start writing these down because I think of them all the time. <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't, don't, on, just, Ryan. just, just, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't personally define the outworking of revival as someone screaming at people on the streets. That's fair. That's fair. No, yeah, agreed. But people, it bugs me that that is somehow getting called revival. Right. That's like, I remember in Toronto, you'd see those people. Remember going downtown oh, yeah. Toronto? Dundas. Screaming Dundas Screaming at people? Yep. Manic, Manic Street pictures. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't know. That just rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. same. I suppose yeah. the Apostle Paul would say, you know, whether in... Uh, Christ is preached. Yeah. Whether in whatever a pretense, Christ is preached. Yeah. But yeah. But So still do it. No, not still do it. Just like when people are doing it in a way that you're like, well, oh, this isn't helping. Paul the Apostle Doc, will go, well, actually, it, it may be helping in Dr. some Dr. Brashears had a funny story about this because we, me, him, and Brody went to lunch the other day. And he said that he was teaching apologetics at, it was either Western or Viola when he was there. And he was talking about the same gripe. And he was saying how spiritual formation and evangelism doesn't come through angry street preaching. And he mentioned uh, somebody who was doing street preaching or something like that. And after class, a student came in that came up to him and said, just so you're clear, I know the guy you're talking about. And that's how I got saved. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, so. Yeah, that's a tough one then. But, I guess it's it's not for me to judge. I just bother. You. But like, do you need to yell though? I don't know. Do you need to be screaming at people? Right. Like talk to people. Have a, have a little like booth set up. You know, yeah. With some with some signs, pick it, pick it for Christ. But do you need to scream? Yeah, and maybe that's what gets me. It's like I don't. You wouldn't scream in any other situation when you're trying to communicate something that matters, would you? The way that, that they would say it is, you know, if you're like trying to get people out of the water because there's a shark, you, you got to save you them. You scream at them, and so they're like, you know, we're trying to save people from from from. There's a shark in the water, and it's the devil, and you got to scream at them. <sighs> That's yeah. how the, the early Pentecostal. I read all their journals. That's how they do it. Mm. You read all their journals? Yeah, all their journals. Mm. Up to what year? <laughs> I read uh, 1910 to 1932. How are your footnotes? Well, then you definitely missed the heart of the movement in 1906. If you didn't read the episodic <laughs> faith, you, your, your orientation is off. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> you got four years of Go reading. Go back and redo that reception <laughs> history. <laughs> Uh, Chris, do you got a bone to pick? Uh, all right, so I have to be careful with this one because if... Oh, I, I could pick a bone for you. All right, pick it. Help me. Chris needs to buy a house because it's just getting old living with people and just <laughs> wiping people's butts. <laughs> There's a lot of young dudes around here, and I hope they can hear me. When we first started, for context, it was me and Everett rooming together here at, at HQ. But you... And oh, yeah, you would no, complain and Everett, sometimes no, about no, Everett. No, 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 no. I mean, no, I never... But Everett not as much great, as it's happening Everett was, Everett was, whoa, whoa, Everett wait. was a great... Me wait, and Everett I had, think I think we were... I don't think we ever had issues. No, never a single issue, ever. Never, not a single issue. Me and Everett were great roommates. But now that... I don't think it, I don't think anything ever got to the point where Chris or I, with either, oh, with, with each other, ever had to be like, Everett was dude... Tim, you got to stop doing this. Everett was to himself. I'm to myself. Everett was on this corner. I was on that corner. And ships Palm, in the night, dude. Ships in the night. When me and Everett were in Palm Desert. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When me and Everett in Palm Desert, Everett did his thing outside. I did my thing in my office at night. And then it was ships in the night. We would we would cross probably yeah. once a day. And we yeah. catch up for about 15 minutes. Yeah. And going? other than that. How's this? How's that? Good. Everett was Everett's spot was on the table outside in Palm Desert. Who took mm. out the garbage? Uh, I usually took out the garbage. Yeah, but but I I like taking out the garbage because it's like I don't know I'm always okay. doing like computer work it gets me outside it's yeah. fresh air whatever but that's not the case anymore after Everett left we had some other people come in so what's the tea well I'm getting ready to buy a house I'm in the process of looking yeah okay and Lisa's gonna be up here so Francis lived let's Francis let's just say wasn't. You know, Francis wasn't moved Everett. Out. He moved out, but he wasn't Everett. He's somebody else's problem now. Yeah, he's somebody else's problem. He wasn't the worst, but there are others who have come who are not Everett. 
Wow, that's nice. Mm. But that's not my bone to pick. All right, so I have to be careful with this one. Don't we all? Because I have friends that might think I'm talking about them, and I'm not. But it makes me wonder. When you have when somebody has dogs, what's the protocol when they have company with those dogs? Because the last thing to me is when I show up to a house and the dog just starts just Out ransacking control. you or dogs jumping on you. It doesn't matter how small or how big they are. I'm of the conviction that nobody is going to like your dogs as much as you like your dogs. Agreed. That is true. You know what I mean? Very so, very and you've warmed up to that dog. You know that dog. And so like, I don't. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what's the policy? And, and here's the thing. I do like dogs. I don't like dogs. Oh, I like dogs sometimes when they're sweet and they're nice. But the dog is just, there's a line. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I would like to think that if I had dogs and somebody was coming over, I might put them outside or put them in another room. Yeah, I would do that. But it doesn't seem to be the case. <clears throat> but I'll never own a dog. But maybe that's just making making too many demands. Maybe the person's like, well, then don't come to my house. Fine. Dogs. Uh, I love dogs, by the way. By the way. You do? Uh, yeah, I love them. I'm not a, I don't have a dog. I don't own a dog because dogs are an insane responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, he, like lock that thing up. Yeah. You know what I mean, like put it, put it in the garage. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like if it's rambunctious, that's the thing is, is like, well, like if you have, if, 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 if the responsibility of owning a dog is training a dog, make it a good dog. Yeah. If, right. So if you've not trained a dog or you don't have, you know what I mean? And your dog is pouncing on people, licking people, all this weird stuff. It's Sniffing like, people. Yeah, totally. It's like, dude, sort your... like. And then the response is, oh, Sparky, don't do... Oh, my dog. Oh, he yeah. just likes you, Sparky. And you're like, yeah. I don't want... I didn't come here to get, you know... But people, people, dog. people act with their dogs the same way they act with their kids and they'll like do all that stuff and then they'll talk to you and be like, oh, my dog is so well trained. It's so well behaved. Like it's the best dog ever. I'm like, no, it's not. Totally. No. People do the same like with, with, with their kids, right? Mm. Like kids like screaming bloody murder and they're like, oh, they're just so creative. Totally. Like, they're so creative. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like totally my mom. So my mom and my sister are literally the same parent. It's hilarious. My brother and myself and my sister would destroy my mom because my mom threatens, 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 no follow through, threatens, threatens. threatens. Never follows her. So we would just destroy her. My dad, the moment he's around, it's like my dad never threatens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's discipline. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Discipline. <laughs> boom. Ground it. You know what I mean? Just like, oh. So it was like, it was two completely different yeah. experiences depending on what parent was there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and it's true with a dog, with kids, all that stuff. You are ultimately responsible for. Yeah. Your kids, your, you know what yeah, I mean? I have like, a, what it, we've done though, like for example, with kids, like I, we will generally have families over that have kids. And if the, if, if it's a couple that we're going out with and they don't have kids, we'll get the kids watched and we'll go do a couple thing. Totally. Right. And so that's sort of like the dog thing. Not everyone's a dog person. So don't exactly. assume. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Especially if yeah, I'm okay your, with how your dog is. All right, I have one more bone to pick. I have to get this off my chest. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want to live the next podcast yeah. with this one. No, okay. Get it off. Yeah. So I was on Alaskan air. We flew in. Landed in SeaTac Airport, okay? Get off the plane, and, and they brought the tarmac off. They put the tarmac onto the plane. And I was in 1D, so the lady's like, I'm going to, she comes up to the door and she's like, I'm going to lead you through customs because I was in Canada. It's like, okay. She starts leading me and the rest of the plane, me at the front of the line, through the the, the thing you put on the jet bridge. Yep. And she doesn't know what door to go through to get into the airport, to get into the actual airport because oh there's like gosh. three doors. So she has a gigantic line of people behind her who are being probably nicer than they had to have been to her. And she doesn't know which door it is. So she opens up one door and it leads off the jet bridge. On, you'd fall off the thing. Oh my God. <laughs> so she's sitting there like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And she's wearing Taylor Swift boots because this is right after they won all the way up to her knees. Yeah. And she's holding in her hand a Starbucks frap with, with a whipped cream on it. Right. Just drinking it. I don't know what to do. Let me see if I can call somebody. And the whole time we're just sitting there. People have connections. People got to get through this. And she just doesn't know what to do. And literally, like, she just keeps making calls. And people are just kind of standing there blinking. And to me, I rudely said to her, this is your first day. And she's like, I was like, How, is this your first day? She's like, no. 
I was like, how, how come you don't know what door to use? And she's like, I don't know. Oh, my And I go, so they don't train you guys here? Oh, and Chris. Good for you. Yeah. And good she, for you, So they don't Chris. train you guys here? You're and a she, jerk. I, but I said it, it was, and it was like made it even more tense. Like, they don't train you guys here? I go, you know, this is a fire hazard, right? If you don't know how to get out of here and there's a fire. Chris's anxiety is starting to flare yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. And like, she, I, I just don't know. And then like, she goes, oh, my manager wants me to FaceTime her. So they're working through this on FaceTime. And the manager doesn't know. Oh my, oh my God. And then finally she guesses it's door number two, figures out a way to open it, and it's the and it's the it's the airport. So we're walking through and I walk past her. I said, Can you do me a favor? And she's like, Yeah. And I said, Enjoy your mocha. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you are an asshole. <laughs> That's so and good. the point and the point and the, what bothers me is this is clearly an individual who's in charge of people and directing people. Who does not know what they're doing right and that is severely problematic here's the thing if you're in a position where you're dealing with heavy equipment a jet bridge and you're leading people through corridors you shouldn't have in your hand a frap right it's true you should not on a train job you're not drinking your starbucks honestly there's no mercy when it comes to like the airlines the airline industry or just the people industry yeah. you know and it's just like the, the frap communicated to me I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Comfort. I'm yeah. into my drink, and that that gets to my point here. Or you're disturbing me. You're disturbing me, and yeah. that's exactly it. When you go to a place of business today, and you're giving them your business, and they treat you like you're disturbing them, and you get a poor service or a poor product. That to mm. me is so prevalent today. And so, so it's like true. so today, yep. if people are building businesses, if you can give people value, which includes good customer service and a good product for their money, you're gonna win. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is well good. again. That's sorry. That's that's why I've stopped. That's why I've stopped <laughs> tipping. My my plumb line now is that you if I'm well, no no, no. Right. if if yeah, like to if pick I'm on in speculation yeah if I'm if I'm at a place if you at some point yeah. will come to me and ask me if I need anything I'll tip you yeah so even if it's takeout but I know that you're gonna come around and grab my plate ask me if I need another drink whatever I'll tip you. But if I'm literally just going to a counter and picking something up, even well, if you're making it, I'm tipping you. No, you didn't like. To, you like, didn't honest? provide me. Yeah, like you didn't provide you did me no service. with a service. Correct. If they ask you why you didn't tip, I got. I, I can't wait for someone to ask me why I don't tip because the next response is going to be like, "I'll tip when you give me a discount." When you give me a discount, yeah. Why? Because if because if you're tipping, if I go to like Subway, and they ask me how come you never tip, I'm gonna say how come you never give me a discount. You don't tip at Subway. Yeah, they ask you all the time. Oh, my. everywhere. I'm tired of the tip culture. Yeah, I felt so bad though because I went to this one place and I was just like, no, no I'm just, I, I'm no. just grabbing a sandwich and I'm gonna pick it up at the pickup window. Yeah. So I didn't tip. So I go to enter zero, but I mistyped and I accidentally tipped the guy ten cents. Listen, I was like, dang, that's I like, worse. that's Listen, way worse. worse. I, that's I'm slapping. Sound, I'm, the I'm face. gonna sound like my dad here, but my dad has a lot of wisdom and my dad was very successful. And this is this. First job I had, silver dirty, I made three dollars and eighty five cents an hour, making ice cream cones for a whole summer. Next job I had was Lifetime Fitness. I made seven dollars an hour cleaning the grout out of okay showers. The lifetime and, worms. Uh, lifetime worms. Okay. Yeah. Next job I had, Champ Sports, working all summer in retail. And on I was a waiter in college, paid worked my way all the way through college. And never did I expect tips until I became a waiter. And even then, if I did a bad job and there were some tables I did a bad job on. OK, I didn't get tipped and that's just the name of the game. But you and know you something that, yeah. there were yeah. some tables I'd work my tail off and still get a bad tip. And then there are some tables. They just were generous. But it taught me like you got to earn everything that you get and yeah. you have to have a high work ethic. It doesn't help people to give them three dollars because they just went like this and handed yeah. you a coffee. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dude, we we what are they going to expect 10 years from now? Our family business growing up was service. It yeah. was the, the fruit stands. And we got tips all the time. Like people would give us tips because of how good our service was. Like the service. Like real money. Yeah. Like, oh, here's two dollars. Like I have to. Yeah. But that like we gave really good service. And yeah. people like appreciated that. Yeah. But we we most often didn't get tips though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah tips were not standard. Yeah, you don't yet. expect it. Yeah. You didn't expect it. And it's almost like we're supposed to subsidize what the company should be giving to them in the first yeah. place. Right. right. That's a good point. I'm an over tipper. <laughs> I tip good. I tip way too much money. Always. And I, I realize where it belongs. <clears throat> so, no, I, I realize that I like I'm not I'm dead serious. Like I tip between 20 and 30 percent almost everywhere I go. 
And I realized that there's a couple of reasons why I do it. Number one, because I want to be generous to people. Mm-hmm. Number two, because I want people to remember me. Number three, I don't want to be embarrassed. Do you know what I mean? So it's like I will yeah. do it because I don't want to be embarrassed. I'm out of compulsion. No, it's it's fear. I'm afraid of what somebody who I'm never going to see again is going to think of me. Mm. That's not a good reason to tip. You, so the reason why I should tip is if I go to a restaurant and it's like my favorite restaurant. Right. And they do it right. You should tip. Exactly. So when I go into Gulagino, people know what I look like because I tip way more than everybody else there. Do you know what I mean? So And if you, if you feel like it's getting reciprocated, you're building a relationship with that place that you go into all the time. They start to pay attention to you. They start to take care of you. That's a good place to to, to, to sow. Do you know what I mean? Where you're, right. it's reciprocated. But if it's not reciprocated, if nobody knows who I am, people don't recognize me, people don't remember me, people don't talk well of me, and I'm tipping, then my tips are in vain, right? Yeah. Because remember the reason to tip. You always remember the guy who tipped you well, and the guy who tipped you bad. If and the guy who tipped you bad, and that's the point. You're supposed to, but now people feel, don't care. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, does that make sense? Yeah. So like. The whole point, the, you know, as as a return customer, the reason why you'd tip good at a, for example, if I if my if some if somebody takes me out to dinner at my favorite place and I know all the staff, and that person's paying, I'm a bit nervous because I don't I don't want I hope them. they tip and represent me well. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But yeah, now it's start, it's start, sometimes it's yeah, getting, but, it kind of feels but, like it's getting to the point it, where it's it, like it doesn't matter anymore because well, nobody cares. It's, it's, yeah. So it's been it, squashed. It, <laughs> even if, if but the in the way I look, and I agree with everything you're saying. In addition to that, if I go to a restaurant. And I see like the waitress or the waiter on their phone, just hanging out, not keeping up with the refills, not doing this, not doing that. Well, to me, I'm only just if I don't if I tip what they deserve, and that's not going to be twenty percent. It bothers yeah. me, and then it bothers me that this is what troubles me is that when they give to you the iPad, because sometimes they they have you pay by iPad now at the table, and they'll bring it to you and they ask for the tip, even if they were slacking off, it might say twenty five percent, thirty percent, forty percent. Yeah. yeah, and then like they start you off at higher than twenty percent. Yeah, and then if you don't want to do that, you have to put in a manual tip, and the button's really small. And I'm like, mm. it's trapping people. Yeah. This yeah. is a new segment of ours. It's this gonna is be called just the tip. This is this is one of my um, <laughs> one of my frustrations with with barstool sports is that they always get this. So for example, in their red flag, you know, is person who yells at wait staff. You know, it's like they always take the side of the wait staff, mm. and the problem is. That wait staff are horrible now. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So so it's like in the existence of OnlyFans and COVID, we lost our service industry. Totally. Exactly. Yeah. And so what's happened is you go to a, a, a place and that server There's, who's in college, they nine times I, I would t- I wouldn't say it's nine times out of ten, but I'd say probably about six times out of ten, you get somebody who just has a terrible attitude, doesn't want to be there, and doesn't remember anything. You know what I mean? Like yep. regularly, I I almost always don't get. Dude, the other day I was at a, a restaurant in Miami. I ordered food. The food never came, and they charged me for it. Whoa! And I just didn't. Yeah, I, I, I was just so I just I couldn't even care. Yeah, and so I just paid for the meal, and I just left because I didn't. I, that's because that's I just couldn't be bothered. But the point is, it's like. That is a regular occurrence for me. Hey, can I get a, a glass of water? Twenty minutes later. There yeah. Comes. Hey, can you? Can, and I have to remind them. Hey, do you mind if I get a glass of water? You know what I mean? Like five minutes later. So it's like that's regular f- for me. Right. So, like, there, so, so there, there's a guy. So, so so if I so what so if I if I so if I if you say something. Yeah. Then you're the bad guy now. Yeah. Or See, you, I you always say. Nagging. See, I always say. Okay, so um, there's a guy at the airport. If you park your car in lot B. Or a lot. See, I always do lot B. He comes and picks you up on the bus. Okay. The little bus that takes you from the parking mm-hmm. to the airport. This guy is the nicest dude in the world. He picks you up. He's like, hey, man, good to see you again. Oh, how's it going? He's nice. He's helpful. He talks. But you know what? What, what I love him. You're not even supposed to give him tips. And I'll tip him. You know why that is? Because he loves his job and he's happy to be there. And he makes yep. your day better. And he yep. makes my day better. Totally. And so you know what? It's like he's met. I remember him. Like one morning I was down and out. He's like, where are you from, man? I'm like, I'm from Detroit. He's like, oh, the line. Like he starts finding things of interest that you can take interest in. Yeah. And then he'll pick you up. He remembers who you are. Late yeah. at night, he's there. He doesn't hate his job. Yeah. And it's like, this is probably not a high, yeah. super high paying job. Those are the type of people I'm like, reward. Gold. Gold. Absolutely. Those Dude. people that give you bad stuff, punish. And you know what? Tough. You don't like it? 
capitalism, baby. That's totally. how it works. Yeah. I'm I'm totally with you. I feel like it's like it's like the hospitality part of it. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Like when I go to Colchino, I ask to be, I ask for Lee, Lee yeah. every time. Yeah, he's the and, and as tall soon as guy. I, wa- yeah, yeah, yeah. Tall Asian. big, big dude. As soon as, as soon as I walk in, he remembers me. Yep. And first thing he goes, he goes, do you like Amaro? I go, yeah, I like Amaro. He's like, okay, well, if you're interested, I've been working on these three cocktails that I'm entering into a competition. Would you like to try any of them? Dang. I'm like, Yes. <laughs> Great. That's like, that's hospitality. He's yes, coming yeah, to your yeah. table so every you need, 10 minutes yeah. and Lee gets a fat tip Yeah, and he likes me and yeah. I like him because yeah. I that's treat him exchange. well. Yep. I take care of him. He takes care of me. Right. But the barista at honest or the sandwich artist at Subway exactly. isn't in the hospitality business. Totally. Right. No. no. Yeah. yeah. You're not. You don't deserve yeah. it. You don't Actually, get, there's you don't a good a guy, Sayer at honest. I really like, he's really cool. And he like wants to know my name. And like, well, there you go. Give yeah. him a tip. By the way, Honest Coffee is the slowest coffee Dude. joint I've ever been to in my entire life. Love them. Like, hey, glad that you're there, but you are so slow. It's you are shocking. We Dude, just I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered a coffee at Honest, and it still took forty-five <coughs> minutes. Oh we just start, we just I pre-ordered on my way to be like, maybe it'll only take ten minutes yeah. once I get there. We just forty-five minutes. People in Franklin love. How slow. slow. Yeah, they want to keep Franklin is. slow. We just start a new segment yeah. called Over Under. Dude. And talk about something and say if it's overrated or underrated. All right. That's fu- keep Franklin slow. Franklin. Yeah. That's Frank- <laughs> Franklin. Overrated, <laughs> underrated. Yeah. Underrated. Yeah. Still. Highbrow underrated. coffee is the same. Highbrow coffee is so slow. In oh, West it's Haven, too small. It's way too small. Wait, 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 Everett. So, so food in Franklin is massively overrated. Oh, I agree. The food in Franklin, in, in my opinion, mostly sucks. It's true. No, there's I two just, good. There's, there's, yeah, no there's, there, there's three. I'd say three. There's three places that I'm like, I will go there in Frank, Franklin. Bastia Mare, which is a Culicino restaurant. Yep. yep. Culicino oh, yep. and Perry's. Perry's. Yeah, Perry's is pretty good. Actually. Perry's is good. Yeah, it is. In, in, in Cool Springs. Bishop's. Bishops, I love Bishops. Bishops. I love Bishops. The guy working there is the nicest West dude. Coast Taco. By the way, the, the Waffle House on Murfreesboro, they're, they're angels. Oh, good to know. Yeah. The, have you guys met the guy who works at Bishops and manages it? Yeah. 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 He's, he's awesome. He's nice guy. So, so nice. That, yeah. There's a guy. Yeah. Who he makes, deserves tips. He I, give, I tip yeah. at Bishops. Yeah. There's a guy yeah. who yeah. is like running a good business. You know, hard working. Yeah. Good to see you, man. And hey, did you know that the original one is in um, old off Old Hickory towards Nashville, and it's called um, Bees B Bee something. And then Hattie Bees is also an offshoot of Bishops. All right. This is what I want to know. Right. That was one. Of, that was actually my bone to okay. pick. Wait, I was going to get to. Go what ahead. is it? That they put Hattie B's in, in the, the factory? in the factory. Why? Because they it's have one in the airport now. Not that good. It's like I think it's like this chain tourist attraction mm. that's massively overrated, and it's not local. And I feel like it's just attracting the wrong clientele to the factory. Okay, but like you want to keep. I feel like you want to keep the factory to Franklin locals. And it's just like attracting all these people from everywhere oh, else right. to be like, oh, well, they have Hattie B's. My Franklin's it's like, there. dude, it's actually fair. like that's the best you can do for fried yeah. chicken. I think you can like. Okay, so I've never had Hattie B's. Uh, the one more I want to get your brain on pockets. Over or under? Overrated. Oh, God, the food's bad. It's true. Yeah, it the food is bad. Ten years ago, pockets was amazing. In in Leaper's true. Fork. Yeah, pockets pockets has gone down. Yeah. Yeah, food at Puckett's is bad. It Sadly. is really bad. But I will say, Franklin doesn't have a ton of restaurants, but the restaurant scene in Nashville is actually pretty dope. I think it's I think it's one of like so the better cities in America. Fra- to be downtown honest. Franklin's funny because there's times where I'm like, man, I live in Franklin. I should go downtown. And then I walk downtown. I'm like, what, where, what store do I go into? I, d- I disagree with you. I love Franklin and we're, we're moving to Spring Hill and I'm like yeah. morning. I'm morning. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. No, I, no, no, no. Downtown, I Frank, downtown Franklin. But there's no stores to go into. It's true. Yeah, what downtown store do you, what store do you, no, I, I go to I restaurants. Lo- I never no. go to stores. I hate shopping. Yeah, no, no. You missed my point. I love going to downtown Franklin. But when I get down there, I, I remember again, where do I go in? Right. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. Dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you. There's only so many candles you can buy. Yeah. 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 Like, if you're a shopper. Yeah, then, candles for $40. The, the bookstore is cool, yeah. but it's small. And you, yeah. I'm in there 10 minutes. And then I'm like, okay, I guess I'm leaving now. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like Gallery Mall. It's yeah. Like you go to Gallery Mall, you're oh, like, man, what is this? The Gallery Mall. This, it's it like, is it so ghetto. The, it oh, doesn't. Be, the Gallery Mall is like, 
how is this in Franklin? <laughs> and I lost totally. my only reason to yeah. go there. The the chair massage guys. This is good. Are they gone? No. They uh they did a massage for me and Tiff, and I gave a it was a bad massage. Yeah. He had to poop during the massage. <laughs> Are you serious? And he was coughing on me. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. I gave him a bad tip and he yeah. said, No, I want more tip. Are you serious? Yes. They say that. And I'm like, no. And he's like, more tip. And I'm like, nope. No. And we're and, and, and Tiff was embarrassed. And I'm like, and that's I was bold. like, that's bold to do that. Yeah. yeah, that's like. I gave him a ten dollar tip on like a hundred dollar massage. Yeah. Well, if it's a bad massage, then tough rocks. He Jeez. pooped during my thing. Yeah, what an idiot. That's crazy, dude. Dude, Galleria Mall. It's like so now I can't go there for any reason. Galleria Mall is gonna. It's obviously gonna go under. Nobody's making. You money know that. You I want to turn it into a. If school. you go into a mall and they have a Belks, stay away. Belks. I've what never been into Belks. Belks. I've exactly. never been into a Belks before. <laughs> what is it? You tell me. I went to Belks. I couldn't even figure out how to get into it for the longest time. <laughs> and I needed a sweater for something. So I was like, You're going to Belks? So you got to go down. And I went the, in there. Just go in. Next time you're there, just go in. The only thing that was good at that gallery mall is Grogan Jewelers, where I got Danielle's engagement ring. And they crushed it. But they're not dependent on the mall, they could be anywhere. Right. Um, the only right. pl- the only store that's making any money at that place is Apple, because there's sure, no way, busy. there's no way that yeah. any of those stores are making money. No, yeah, it's it's, it's a ticking time bomb. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be gone. Like it's like it's it's absolutely on the rocks. I can't yeah. imagine that they charge anything for the retail space, but it's really sad because like Westfield should buy it and then make it amazing. Have you ever seen a, a Westfield mall? In, yeah, we had desert. one in Palm Springs. In the yes, the Palm Desert. Yeah, yeah, the Westfield right. malls are. Okay, so was that in like El Paseo? You know what you in, want in Australia, yeah. dude. If you go to a mall in Australia, the first mm-hmm. floor is all groceries and it's all like fresh mm-hmm. fish, fresh steaks, mm-hmm. grocery stores, yeah. uh, liquor stores. First floor, right? Second floor is like, well, um, you know, like uh, smaller stores, like like massage, da 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 da, and and like electronics. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, getting your hair done, whatever, and then. Uh, nicer stores like nicer retail like really nice retail like like third floors like Gucci and like whatever then the fourth floor is like all entertainment it's like killer restaurants mm. like killer and movie theaters gotcha right and like so like you can literally get everything you can do your shopping you can go get a massage you can get your hair done go see a movie and eat at a five it's star restaurant hang. exactly it's like and, and Australians go hard at malls there's no malls that aren't getting absolutely crushed every day by Australians because they know how to make these malls. Our malls in America suck. Nobody wants to I go agree. to them. You want to know why? Because there's nothing worth buying there. Totally. You know, you totally. know what Amazon you, you killed know what, that too. Yeah. Oh, you, know yeah. you know what mall you know what mall is ter- terrible strikes out is Mall Green Hill. Green Hill? Yes, you take Hills oh, yeah. all the way down. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Green that Hill. Mall, you, they don't have a food court at it. How do you have a mall not a food they court? They have a Shake Shack. But that's the thing is food you can't see American Americans Think when they think of malls, they think of food court, and food courts general half of a food court's typically garbage. Yeah, right. Well, that's what I eat. Yeah, tra- <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> so what you need is not just a food court. It's restaurants. You, you need an am- amazing, amazing Market, dining experience and like a marketplace type thing. Which yeah. yeah, places that totally places. Yeah, they you, had when I was in when I which was. Which is in, funny you, you say that because Green Asia, Hills actually has a good place to eat. They do the North Italia. No, they have the RH, they have the Restoration Hardware. North Italia is not a good place to eat. It's not? I haven't eaten there yet. I, I, it's, I went once. I haven't, I haven't tried it. It's not, it's not, it's not um, Italy. Do you know what I mean? Like, why yeah. don't we have an Italy at the Galleria? Yeah. Like the one from New York? Yes. Yeah. Why, why that? Would, that's an experience, too. Well, that's what I'm yeah. saying. So yeah. why yeah. wouldn't we have the most, like, it's Franklin, Tennessee. Everybody's moving here. Why wouldn't yeah. we have the most insane mall mm. with the best food ever? Because people are Dumb. Do you guys yeah. like the new airport upgrades they've made? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. I like yeah. Terminal That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. Voodoo yes. Donuts. Yes. Right? Yeah. right? Voodoo Donuts. Um, Kitty Hawk. Yep. Kitty Hawk. Yeah. They have yeah. All BNA's kinds of- good. BNA's I like, I like BNA, shag. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's always Speaking quick, of, too. I got I to gotta fly. All right. Okay, boys. Love y'all.